We've been jumping into Blind Kaiser races. We've done number one. We've done number 10. I don't know if I'm going to post that until we get to 10. It'll be kind of like a, a fun time travel. This is number two. It is four stars. Um, number one was two stars. That was fine. I, I don't want to big myself up, but I kind of smashed it. Um, this is going to be hard. So anyway, enough, uh, enough rambling. I'm going to hit start. And... Bam, we're kind of synced a little bit. Oh no. I can see why it's called Kaizo 3 Throwback. I have become aware of an infamous level from Kaizo 3 that involves continually riding on a mole. I am in deep. Oh no, and the screen scrolls weird. It's the one where it moves faster one way compared to the other. What is this? Oh. So that was, uh, that was not meant to be a throw. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Maybe I'm jumping off the left wall there. Was there a left wall? I need to pay some attention. And I've just realized, like, I'm actually treating this as a race, and I don't want to do that. It's way too stressful if I'm trying to actually race this. The fact that there's a time up in the <laughs> top left doesn't really help. Okay. Mm, I'll figure this out. I feel like I've got options, but um, it's just about doing a shell jump. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, no. Okay, one less bounce. One less bounce would have done it there. And then what do we got? Uh, a thing. It might work. I, I mean, it's manageable. As long as I don't take uh, too long. I'm, uh... I do have a bunch of commitments. Okay, so we're doing... Oh. <laughs> Stomp that... Oh! Dude, did you guys just raid me? Was that a raid? Was that one of those, uh, those two man kind of sick raids? Bam. Alright. Um, hey guys. Welcome. Welcome to the family. Three man raid. No way. Bro, you guys just increased your raid capacity by, by 50% by my calculations. Um, because the frame rate, like, uh, it could just be a me thing. But the frame rate is uh, very inconsistent. It dips very low. Um, and I find it difficult to play it for longer than a certain amount of time. It just uh, makes me feel ill. Um, but the furthest I got when I was sort of playing through it was... Uh... Oh, the checkpoint was there the whole time. Nice. Um, yeah, the furthest I got through it, and I just gave up, was I did all of all of Agent, started playing through Secret Agent and uh, Aztec. Aztec can go away. That's not a level that is cool or good. <laughs> Aztec on Secret Agent. Ouch. But then, you know, there's guys that, that speedrun it, apparently, and they probably get many attempts where they get very far into it but I find that level that's a that's the roadblock for me in completing Goldeneye 007 Aztec secret agent yes 
it was good because like i don't know this is this is one man's opinion and it is one of those things where it speaks more to his own kind of perspective and his own truth than it does to any kind of objective reality yeah uh, you know that guy that guy he looks kind of like that guy just yeah tarantino quentin tarantino the uh <laughs> just the hairline and the the fervor uh in his <laughs> in his mannerisms it's uh <laughs> gives me a little smile all right what are the what are those Yeah, thank, <laughs> thank you for helping remember the name of a famous person. I can remember the names of GoldenEye speedrunners, apparently, but uh, actual famous people, not so much. Oh, man. Yeah, I've, um, I'm surprised. I guess I'm not surprised, but config tricks... Had a had a lot of things that would help me, you know, be um, better than I should have been. I'm not going to say it was cheating or anything like that, but I just knew how to customize the game to suit what I wanted to do. Um, and I think we're at the point now where everyone's doing that, and now I'm truly exposed as a as someone that's not good. Medics running faster when healing. Ah, oh. is that is that just with a specific medigun? Because I remember there was a, a was it called was that the quick fix or no that was something else. I don't know. It was, or is that across all? Oh, it's all of them. Okay, that's good. Are they slower when they heal? <laughs> heavier guys. Just to balance it, I know that uh, Valve has a way of. You know, valve giveth and valve taketh away. Okay. Well, how do we do this? No, that's going to be much earlier. All right. This is good. If that's the door to the end, I'm happy. I just need to figure out where that throw block goes. Like how I'm going to get it. Maybe I just saw it too late. Maybe it was actually easy to do. I think you never see a checkpoint in a, in a sub world. But... Could be totally wrong on that. I just remember hearing something about checkpoints being strange. But uh, there's enough people that have like rewritten a bunch of code and given patches that that is theoretically not a limitation anymore. It's just a case of whether or not someone's employed the patch and whatever custom codes required. All right, so how <laughs> how are we gonna do this? I don't see myself on that path. Oh, that's an up. <laughs> and it would have been too early anyway. That would not have made it. I think I just need to sacrifice a life up there and just scope it out and sort of have a look at how um, how that lines up. Okay, so we'll fall on here. Oh, there's... There's a visual, there's those two blue coins. Okay. <laughs> Look, the, um, a few days ago, I, uh, I got a little bit of a rise out of, I think it was, um, I think it was Blue Ribbon, where he was talking about Zelda. Um, and how, you know, he was surprised that I'd never played a Zelda game. Um, but I said, you know, the closest thing to a Zelda game I've ever played is a Goof Troop on the Super Nintendo. And, you know, if you've played Goof Troop on the Super Nintendo, you'd understand where I'm coming from. Oh, is that going to be in the clear vid? No, okay, good. <laughs> we're going to die here somehow. Oh, no, we're not. Okay. Yeah, there's a, you know, I've, I've been over this. There's a harpoon gun, and it's a top-down game. So, uh, anyway, that's that's done. I should, uh, I don't want this to be my meme, is that I play Legend of Goof Troop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
I'm going to play Goof Troop one day on stream. And I'm going to have an excellent time pointing out what I think is like a Zelda game. <laughs> having having not actually played any, but seen like screenshots and stuff. Um, hey, that was all right. So what was that? 30, 36 minutes? Um, let's, let's go check out the leaderboards. What we have here is week two. This is the level we played. We did... You know, we don't have it down to the second or anything like that. We'll say 36. So that places us uh, just around this guy here. 11. Hey, 11th. What? Yeah, yeah, I see. Um, I see it was beaten by uh, uh, deceased astronomer Carl Sagan, 42. Oh, Ryukar, 447. What a beast. Charles Cook, the thunder from down under, 657. Man, these are these are awesome times. I don't think I was I think I was still on like the third or fourth jump by by the six minute mark. Link Dead, Osu Yeah, look, these are all uh these are all names that I've seen, so these are these are cool guys that are involved in the community. Oh yeah, I know I've I've never played live, and as I said after I did the first one, like the pressure of actually being in a race would be very different to me just sitting here chatting with you guys and just getting through it at my own pace yeah 11 12 something i'd have to I'd have to go back and count the frames but but i think we're i think we're somewhere in here 